Hello, my name is Mr. Oster. And I'm Mrs. Williams. And we're here to just give you a quick introduction to sixth grade music classes as some options for next year when you're signing up for um, electives. Um, first, uh, my name is Mr. Oster, and I'm the choir teacher of the middle school and high school. And I'm Mrs. Williams. I teach sixth through twelfth grade middle and high school band. And as you can see on the screen, the three choices you have for music classes next year is you could take just choir, you could take just band, or you guys are lucky, you can take both band and choir as an option as well. So we're going to talk to you real quick about some uh, highlights of both the choir and band program that you hopefully will find useful. First, uh, we're going to talk about the choir program. Um, on the screen, you'll see there's a couple of pictures here, and this is just the introductory screen showing you that we do some pretty cool stuff uh, in the choir program. We have uh, trips that we take, we do some festivals, we uh, do some competitions. We kind of try to make it a choir experience. And if you notice, there's a lot of people there um, that are friends. And so in choir, you do also tend to make a lot of friends and have some buddies that are there with you in your class. Next, I wanna do some uh, highlights of the advantages that you have of taking choir. Um, first, there's no required practicing at home. We do all of our learning and our practicing for choir things in the classroom. Um, so uh, that goes to number two up there, or the second bullet point, which says there's no homework. I do not believe in homework. Uh, most choir students never have to worry about taking anything home to work on at home. And the reason why is because we do a lot of hard work in our class. We do work very hard in choir class, but you don't have to take anything home. There's no practicing required at home. The only time I've ever had a student say they have to take something home is if they were sick for a couple days and they got behind on some work that we did in class, just like you'd have in any other class. Um, the third bullet point is we take yearly field trips. We do everything from a, a day trip, like to uh, see a cool show, like maybe the Blue Man Group or Lion King the Musical or some other cool things like that. Um, and if those things typically cost a little bit of money, but you also have the opportunity to fundraise and put money into an account just for you. If you fundraise, that money goes back towards you. Um, so uh, we do some cool trips. There uh, are no fees or you don't have to pay anything to be part of the choir program. Um, choir has no rentals, no fees, no things you need to pay for. You can take choir and not have to have any checkbooks out. Um, there is about three concerts per year or performances per year. Sometimes a little bit more if we do uh, different festivals or other trip performances. Um, but we typically have about three performances a year. We try to make sure, as mentioned before, there's some great friendships and that you get to sing and, and uh, sing some great fun music. Um, you'll see that on a couple of the next slides. And also a really important thing is there's no experience necessary. You don't have to already be a singer um, to take choir. You don't have to already be good at singing. That's partially my job is to help you to learn to sing. So no experience necessary, no homework, and no required practicing at home are the important things I'd like you to take away from that. Next, there's just a couple of uh, pictures here in a collage that shows some of the trips we've taken. Uh, some of these pictures are from Chicago. Uh, middle school choirs travel to Chicago every two years. So that means the spring of 2021, which is this next coming spring, is uh, the year we plan a trip to Chicago. Um, there's some cool pictures of us riding a boat and some other things like the beam there. Um, there's also other smaller trips. If you don't want to do big trips or overnight trips with us, we get, we do trips like Blue Man Group or The Lion King or uh, Dear Evan Hansen. We go to see some shows or some cool music related things. Um, and students are welcome to go on those uh, shows or trips as well. Last but not least, we sing some good music. And the uh, last couple of years, we've done some Moana. Uh, we've done some Greatest Showman pieces. We've done some Lion King pieces. And again, trips and fun pieces are an important part of our program. Next up is Mrs. Williams about band. Hey guys, uh, so I'm gonna talk to you about band. This is uh, just a, a bunch of pictures to kind of introduce some different things about band that students say that they enjoy. Um, so the background there is just a picture of our trailer. We used to take a lot of our equipment places when we travel. Um, a lot of our students like to be goofy and take funny pictures with their instruments on their heads or um, get together and pose while stuffing their face with Krispy Kreme. So um, just some different pictures there to kind of introduce you to uh, the band world. So uh, we asked students in our in the band program um, four things that they really 
enjoy about being in band. The first thing that they said they enjoyed was the fun that they had with friends. Um, you make some great relationships in both choir and in band. Um, and so those that top row pictures right there is just, you know, friends hanging out literally in that one picture, um, kind of just being goofy, having fun and creating memories. The second thing that our students really say that they enjoy is the exciting music that we play. Very similar to Mr. Oster in the choir program. Um, we play things like Aladdin, Star Wars, Harry Potter, uh, The Greatest Showman this past year was our marching band theme. And so we play a lot of exciting music that uh, are things that you have heard before, not just things that you know are from a long time ago by composed by old dead people. Um, yeah. Uh, the third thing that our students say that they really enjoy about being in band is the sense of accomplishment that they have. Uh, so the top right picture up there is a picture of the marching band kind of doing a formation on the field, which is something you get to do after a few years in band. Um, there's some pictures of us, the high school kids that took a trip to St. Louis. It was both uh, eighth grade through high school that took that trip. And then um, it kind of leads us into the last thing is the fourth thing that our students really enjoy is taking trips. Uh, we take trips that are both overnight in a way like Chicago or St. Louis or some of our other trips, but we also take trips usually every year to either Michigan's Adventure or Cedar Point to both perform and enjoy the park for the entire day. So um, we try to keep the cost down on those, which is really important so that everybody can participate. But those are some of the trips that we take. So some of the advantages to being in band um, and just some good information that you can have so that you can try to make a good choice. Uh, these are the instruments that we offer for you to learn in sixth grade band. The flute, clarinet, and saxophone are the three woodwind instruments we start on. The two brass instruments are the trumpet and trombone. And then our one um, other section that we offer instruments are percussion. And that's both the drums and all the other instruments in percussion, whether it's xylo or triangle or cowbell, um, is all considered to be a percussionist. And so those are uh, the six choices that you have. We move you from those instruments to other instruments later if you wanted to play the tuba or the piccolo. Um, and so we end up moving you after sixth grade or in the middle of sixth grade to a different instrument if you have that desire. We do have small amounts of practicing or homework that can be associated with our class. And uh, that's just part of learning something new. You're usually excited to play it. And so there are small amounts of homework um, or practicing because that's the only way to get better at something is to practice it. There is minimal to no cost for the items that you need to participate in class and the trips that you go on are fundraised by you if you'd like to go. So uh, we try to help out with all the costs that you may have. Um, for our instruments, you can either bring your own instrument from home that you've either borrowed from someone or that you have at your house. You can also buy an instrument or rent an instrument, which we have uh, available through the school. We'll probably do something in the fall um, to help out with that. And uh, you have the option to also use a school instrument, which is the free option. Um, so we can talk more about that later on an individual basis. I'm also going to include a link with this uh, video and information so that you can kind of listen to those different instruments and see which one you'd like to maybe choose to try out this year um, if you choose to be in band. And then the last thing is our performances. The small group performances are optional. You do those a couple times a year, and then we try to have an average of three concerts per year for our middle school students um, to perform for the community, their family, and their friends. So we'd like to thank you for watch our video, and uh, we will uh, hopefully hear from you soon. Mr. Crook is going to include in uh, the email that he sends out to families, our email addresses for both Mrs. Williams and I. So feel free to ask us more questions if we happen to not covered something that you wanted to know about, uh, whether it be choir or band, please let us know. Again, my name is Mr. Oster, and I'm the choir teacher. And I'm Mrs. Williams, I'm the band director. And we uh, thank you for watching our video. And again, shoot questions our way to our email, and we hope to see you soon.